In this tutorial, we'll explore the Moodle Grade Center and look at how grade totals are calculated. I'll also go on to show you how you can change these calculations to suit your own requirements. So here I am, I'm in Moodle and I'm going to turn my attention to Grades. This defaults to the Grader Report, which shows a column for each assessment item. The student results are displayed in the rows and Moodle calculates by some magic a total for this course. But how did Moodle arrive at this total and what if we wanted to change the formula? To do that we're going to have to look into the simple view. In this view we can see each of the assessment items, the marks that they're out of, and you'll notice that it displays the course total as 100 or indeed 100%. So what Moodle will do is to add up the marks that the student has received for each of these assessment items. It will divide that by the total marks possible across all of the items and express that as a percentage. So this is Moodle's default way of marking. It's called Simple Weighted Medium Grades and it's the most common and most practical way of adding up your course. It basically uses the relative values of each assessment item and attributes a proportion of the marks accordingly. So in our example, our final assessment is worth 30 of the possible 50 marks. It therefore 60% of the overall score will come from our final assessment. What if, however, we wanted it to be different than that? What if, in fact, our final assessment should be worth 80% of our final marks and the two quizzes only worth 10% each? This is where we'd need to change the grading schema to become a weighted mean of grades. Let me show you how we do that. You'll notice there's a subtle difference now. We have an additional column which is called the weight column and it's here that we can put the relative percentages. So if you remember, we decided that we wanted our final assessment to be worth 80% and the two quizzes to be only worth 10% each. If you ever use this weighted mean of grades, it's critically important that the total of all of these adds up to 100. Once I've done that, I'm going to save my changes and I'll now return to the grader view to see what the impact has been. Our student has now a higher final score and the reason for that is a greater slice of the pie has been given over to that final assessment.